CNN's Sarah Seidner was in Washington State reporting on the pandemic when it first began. And now almost a year later, she was covering this recent surge when the death and the devastation became all too much. You know, this is the 10th hospital that I have been. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the 10th. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I was embarrassed. I couldn't stop myself and compose myself. I apologize. I'm going to try to try to get through this. To do that live on TV and then that feeling of not being able to control it, I was ashamed. It's really hard to take. <laughs> I'm sorry, Allison. The 48-year-old CNN correspondent has seen a lot over the past year, traveling around the country covering COVID, the death of George Floyd, social justice protests, and more. Her breaking point came while reporting the story of a woman who lost her mother and stepfather to the virus. The funeral for her mother was held in a parking lot. It was rage that I was feeling. Rage that people aren't listening. They're not listening and they're actively doing the opposite of what authorities are telling them. These are the experts trying to save your life and they're not listening. Have you seen the celeb reaction? Jane Lynch, thank you, Sarah Seidner. Um, Jenna Dewan, please, everyone, take a moment to watch this. Viola Davis posting it, Jennifer Aniston posting it. I saw Viola Davis, and you know what it did? It validated that we all needed a good cry. And that was my first really good, deep cry that I have had in a really long time, especially since going in and out of these hospitals. Tracy Ellis Ross also showed Sarah some love, sending her a surprise care package. This is the nicest thing. By the way, Sarah's right back at it today. She's in Michigan covering the possible unrest there, back in the middle of all the craziness because that's what she does.